Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing problem number 2 on encoding function or basically finding group code. Welcome back friends, let us discuss problem number 2. Here h is given to us and we need to determine the group code or basically we need to find it out the encoding function. First of all, let us check what the function is given. That means in terms of b raised to m tends to b raised to n because m and r, n are very important. Once we know what is m, then we'll get to know what will be the length on left hand side. If m is 2, on left hand side there will be 4 possibilities 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. If m is 3, then there will be uh, 8 combination going up to from 0 to 7. So let me check what is m and n. So what is n? n means total number of rows. So how many rows we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So there is 6 rows. So n is 6. And what about m? m means let us separate it into 2. This is your identity matrix of 3 cross 3. On top non-identity matrix has 3 rows. Therefore m is equal to 3. That indicates on left hand side there will be the code of length 3. So this is 0, 0, 0. Next 0, 0, 1. What is next? 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 next 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and finally 1 1 1 So we need to find it out all the 8 codes. Okay, so here we have written 7 code. There is one more, one term is missing. That is E011. E011 is missing. So I think that you can manage by yourself. So let's start because I don't have space, uh, space to write. So that therefore I'm leaving it at uh, leaving on you. Let us start. First is we need to find it out the code for E00. So E000 is what? 000 on right hand side since the length is 6. Therefore there will be 3 unknowns x1, x2, x3. So x1, x2, x3 is what? Triple 0 along with the non-identity matrix. So that is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 and triple 1 which is equal to. Now see it's very simple. If you multiply anything with the 0, 0, 0. So obviously it will be all will be 0. No need to check. So everything will be 0. Or you can simply write it down as 0, 0 and 0. So what is the code for E triple 0? Triple 0 along with x1, x2, x3 that values are also 0. So this is the code for E triple 0. What next? Let us find out the code for E001. So which is equal to let us multiply 0 into 1, 0, 0 and 1. Next, 0, 0 and 1. Next, 0, 0 and 1. So 0 into 0 is 0, 0 into 1 is 0, 1 into 1 is 1. that will be equal to this is 1, this is 1 and this is 1. So in short, the code for E001 is 001 and triple 1. So this is the code for E001. I hope now you're getting how to uh, find it out the codes. Let's move on. We have the next code 010. So 0 into 1, 0, 1 into 0, again 0, 0 into 1 is 0. So in short, all are 0 here. Next, 0, 1, 0 will be multiplied to this. So this is 0, 1 and 0. Next, 0, 1 and 0 again. So what is the code? This is 0, this is 1 and 1. So in short, the code for E010 0, 0 is 0, 1, 0 along with that 0, 1 and 1. Likewise, we'll move on. And we'll find the further codes. Let's find out this particular code. That will be equal to. Let's multiply with the 1. 
so that will become one xor one uh, sorry one one zero and one next triple one will be multiplied to this that means zero xor one xor one again zero xor one xor one so this will be zero because 1 xor 0 is 1 and that result 1 will again will be xor with the 1 so 1 and 1 will be 0 this is also 0 and this is also 0 so code for e triple 1 is triple 1 and triple 0 is this clear now suppose what is the what is uh, what will be the answer if you get something like this first of all find 1 and 1 xor and 1 and 1 xor is 0 that result this xor is 0 this result 0 will be xor with 1 so the answer will be 1 is this clear so likewise we are going to calculate all the remaining entries is this clear so let me directly write it down answer for you so these are the answers of all the quotes e011 was missing so i have already calculated for you so this is the result I hope you can manage by yourself. So a uh, few codes I have explained you. The remaining code you need to find it out by yourself. Hope you understood. We are done with the problem. Thank you for watching this video. Take care.